Patrick became the first player in Murray State golf history to advance to round 16 at the U.S. Amateur in Cherry Hills Village, Colorado. He has won the Kentucky State Amateur and is also the first player in MSU golf history to win the State Amateur two times and one of the only two to be named champion. Between these many awards, we got the opportunity to speak with him about how it all got started. Uh, I started playing golf and I could walk pretty much with my dad. He just would kind of take us out there and we could play in the sand or whatever. And he had some cut off short clubs, we'd hit a few shots. And if we were bored, he'd just let us go play in the sand or whatever, go chase down his balls, you know, just have a good time out there. Just kind of keeping it family, you know, just hanging out with the family. Murray State has always been behind its athletes and Patrick is no exception. Uh, Murray State chose me. They, um, they were very generous to me and took care of me and was always behind me like uh, since probably my junior year. Started my junior year, they were, Coach Hunt rec was recruiting me from then on uh, consistently and uh, that was one of the big reasons and uh, my brother transferred back as well but I mean coach was one of the only coaches that had been there since my junior year. Newcomb may not be one to brag but no one can deny his numerous achievements here at MSU. From college probably uh, I had a couple winning my first tournament my sophomore year was uh, was pretty cool um, just kind of just breaking through and I had struggled my freshman year a little bit and uh, that was probably my second favorite. My favorite moment was probably winning. I transfer. Or I came here because my brother transferred back, and uh, I came here to try to win conference championship with him. And we actually uh, won conference my freshman year with him uh, by 19 shots. So that was it. Was a cool experience to come back and do that with him. Before you know, we're both kind of growing up and growing apart. So it was cool to do that. Patrick also told us about his recent trip to the U.S. Amateur and the challenges that came along with it. Uh, I've had. I've been getting a lot of uh, phone calls and um, I mean just really just not really big interviews but just getting uh, like asking about um, just about the US Amateur when I just got back and uh, so mainly just from then on uh, I think I got a little bit after the season was over with my player of the year getting voted player of the year but mostly it was for uh, the US Amateur and just just you know can I get a plug here or there you know just a comment so not a whole lot. Patrick talks about how this summer and the tough conditions it brought helped shape him for the season. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was tough. Those, those guys are good out there, but everybody's good at this level. And um, the biggest thing I learned from being out there is that I could play out there. That uh, I didn't even play my best golf out there, not even close. And uh, I mean, I played well, but I, I, I definitely played a lot better. And just really a sense of belonging and under, knowing that I can play out there and. When I go to bigger tournaments, you know, knowing that I belong there and I'm not just trying to play out of my mind to be at the top. Oh. For, with all those good players, you know, if it's perfect conditions and the golf course is good, those guys are crazy good. Those guys are at a crazy good level. See, it, I'm more of a slap it around, play really tough golf, play a tough golf course, tough conditions. And so it, it fit me this summer, it being this hot, that I could just play my game. I didn't have to really do too much because they were going to come back to me instead of me having to catch them.